I've got two Honda Civic hybrid batteries here. Second gen, mine's for 2008. Uh, I'm not sure what year these guys came from, but uh, let's see. This is the same as my car, exactly. It's got the same junction board and everything. It looks exactly like this. This seems to be the standard junction board that came with my car. And then I bought this used battery over here and it had a different junction board. This junction board looks uh, quite nice and new actually. It look, compared to the other one, uh, this one's all open and exposed and you can see it's already gotten all dirty inside everywhere. This one, it's clean, it's closed off. It looks like brand new actually. I had high hopes for this. I was like, wow, this is going to be uh, way better than what I've got, you know? I was thinking, cool, all right, this is gonna work, right? Uh, well, in, th in the end, uh, it didn't work at all. Like, it let my car drive, but it did not let me uh, use the hybrid battery pretty much at all. There's no charge, no assist, no anything. And check this out. There's an interesting difference here. With these two batteries, the standard one that looks normal, that is like my other battery, uh, has these things in these places number no, like it's all in order number one number two number three number four this this one look at this the bolts are completely different in the places here for these two batteries so the the new battery i thought oh this looks nice everything looks new and different wow this is going to be great everything was different there the bolts are different and look there were no washers there were no spacers on that one the spacer actually it appears to be that the uh the spacers are built in on this one let me just see here for a second the spacers are right here the spacers are more built in like this right here you see this guy's elevated a little bit right there the spacers are uh yeah you can just tell they're up off the top there so they, they opted for a different design for the spacers here. It's all Honda. Interestingly, right there, the fuse on the new looking one, is a, uh, it has more capability, 125 amps fuse right there. But on the old one right here, let's check that out for one second. The old one right there, it's just 100 amps. So there's a, a little difference, just a little difference there in the fuse, in the, in the entire makeup of the junction board. They're all, these guys are just quite different, interestingly. They, uh, I think this is one of the most interesting differences here. And just recognizing that this is all different and it did not work. It was not compatible with my car at all. Like, it must be... I'm not sure what the difference is yet at this point, but I just know there are differences and it was not compatible with my 2008 Honda Civic Hybrid. Now, I'm going to check them out, all of the sticks right here, mm -hmm. all of these sticks, I'm gonna check them out using the Sky RC IMAX B6 whoop, Mini. And the Mini is pretty cool because the Mini lets you uh, easily test internal resistance within the sticks with just the push of a button. I'll make a video on that later. Uh, but yeah, with just the push of a button, you can see the internal resistance on these sticks so effortlessly. I'm going to compare the results of these two and see uh, which one has nice sticks. And uh, whichever one has nice sticks, the best sticks, I'm going to use my trusty junction board the junction board that i'm sure will work because all of this one right here is tried and true this one it works but it doesn't work it's not compatible this one has no codes but it's weak battery this one has codes uh hybrid battery deterioration and uh, maybe another one or two and it just doesn't connect it just doesn't talk to the, to the junction board there's no charge no assist it just seems to be able this guy right here, it seems the junction board is only capable of charging the 12 volt battery. That's just what it looks like. It charges the 12 volt battery 
functionally, I can drive my car, but there's almost no charge, almost no assist, it seems. And it doesn't recognize that there is any charge or assist. Anyway, last time when I charged these guys, I discharged them and charged them, all of these. I've done them both with the IMAX B6 Mini. And, uh, well, after that, I found out this junction board didn't work. It was my first time testing it. I thought, oh, wow, okay, so the junction board doesn't work either. And this one, it got results. It was a balanced pack, and but it didn't run very well. It's something that's too old still. I don't know. Uh, and I didn't grid charge it. That's my next step. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check for the best cells. I'm not gonna scat. I'm not gonna charge and discharge them again. I've done that already. But I'm going to charge it with the, uh, with this the standard grid charger max volts grid charger. That, that pretty much everyone has with this car if you're going to use it for long term. Anyway, I'm out. Uh, check it out for the next video. We're going to see the internal resistance. What the heck?